Good morning, MGTOW Nation. This is Renegade number one. I'm back with another video. Uh, today I want to talk about how you, in order to advance into the red pill state of mind even further, to really reach your goal of being on your own, mastering solitude, you must accept the fate. You must accept your fate that... Um, Women will never, ever change. The female, the female mind will never change. And I'm going to start addressing females as the female because females are one mind. They are monot uh, monotonous. So, the female won't change. And um, you can never be optimistic. You have to accept the truth. You have to accept the truth that you're gonna die alone, and I and I and I don't want to say that in a way that to scare you. There's nothing wrong with being friends with yourself. You have to. And I was watching a video yesterday. Uh, Coach Red Pill. He, by the way, is good content. I recommend you guys check it out. I'll probably leave a link in the description box. But um. I was it came I came to uh, realize that you have to talk to yourself and not in a way you know talk out loud when you're home alone or you know whatever you're doing alone talk out loud you should never keep your thoughts into your head because if you're not talking to anybody your thoughts will um, always be in your mind you'll always be thinking about the same stuff you have to speak it out, speak it into existence. Like right now, I'm alone, and I'm you know just talking to myself. You know, what am I gonna eat? You know, what should I do today? Today's a nice day. I should go, you know, run, go work out, whatever the case may be. Right? <clears throat> That's how you have to live your life. This is your new way of life. This is this is um this is the now moment. You know, um, I was doing some research. You know, I took time to actually question my whole life. And I realized that, like I said, and for most of you, you probably realize it, we've been indoctrinated. We've been uh, brainwashed. We are not thinking for ourselves. We are thinking the way society wants us to think. We are thinking the way our parents want us to think. So you have to accept the fate you have to accept your faith that when, when you take this route, when you take this route, you are you are putting your you putting a target on your back. You putting a target on your back, man. And for some of you, it's you guys will be tested. Loneliness will test you. You have to be disciplined. You understand? Hold on one second. But loneliness will test you. You know, um, listen to, like I said, listen to some good instrumental music, some good classical music. Continue doing some research. Uh, you know, go to, the, like I said, you can just watch movies by yourself. Do whatever. But just be by yourself. Stay away from the outside world. You know, um, I think it's the more you, the more you accept and not deny, the more you can let allow the red pill to take you. The more you will become red pill easily. Because if you have any form of resistance, it's gonna be difficult. You can't be. To be honest with you, you cannot have any blue pill friends and consider and, and, and expect yourself to be red pill. It just doesn't work like that. You understand? Um, I was talking with a friend of mine. And, um, he's red pill. And uh, actually, you know, Ecstatic Wiz, um, you guys seen him in a, a video I had a couple weeks ago, but... He's trying to get his channel going, and uh, like I said, this is the only way of life. 
there's no other way of life. This is the only road. And if you're not, if you're one of those people and you're still trying to date, then go ahead and date. But I don't really think you should take MGTOW unless you're going to go all the way in with it. Don't half-ass it. Because if you're going to half-ass it, then there's no point of you even, you know, watching these videos. And really, I care about every one of y'all. I care about all my subscribers. I care about the people that don't even like me. You know? <clears throat> But ultimately, if you don't, if you don't learn anything from my videos, just learn this: that the truth is, the truth is gonna uh, remain regardless. You know, don't don't be blind by self deception because a lot of people they use self deception as a defense mechanism from reality, and don't do that. Accept it. Women will never change. Uh, simps are gonna be simps, and again, if you got friends that are simps, and if you got female friends or you know a chick that's you know a typical female, which she probably is, a lot let them move on. You can't change those people, and I said this in my last video. You can't control nature. Nature can, nature works on its own. The only person you can control naturally is yourself and that's accepting that fate man um it's hard man it's hard to um accept it because being lonely it can get to you from time to time sometimes you want to feel that touch you know of a female or you know just that companionship but um that's why you got to be conscientious of what you you got to be uh vigilant of what you listen to on the radio and what you watching on television because you got to realize that that's a lie they're pumping that into your mind you know I was gonna do a separate video on having x-ray vision but I'm gonna go ahead and uh I'm gonna go ahead and put that in this video um, you got to learn how to see beyond what you see because everything that you see from a physical standpoint is not actually what's true you have to be able to give uh, provide a, a, a deeper analysis of what's going on with the individual or what's going on with a motive because people will never show you their trick they will never show you their, their, their true motives people will never really tell you what they're about to do because that will give it away you understand X-ray vision, when I use the term, because I'm going to be using that term moving forward, X-ray vision, you see beyond the surface. You look within the person. If a person is smiling, you got to look beneath that smile. You got to look within that person because these people are fake. We live around a, bun a bunch of fake people that are designed to destroy you. And, you know... No one's gonna tell you these things. You have to. You have to have a a a, a knack for it. You understand? That's why I consider MGTOW. You have to be unique. You have to be smart to be MGTOW. You can't be no dummy, because if you are a gullible, uh, uh, naive individual, you won't. You won't even. You'll fall for anything. You know. You'll have. You'll watch a video. And somebody will say, hey, that, that dude right there, he's a bitch. He's stupid. He's soft. If you allow somebody to trick you out of your position, you already lost. You understand? Remember the words that I say. I'm not going to lead you in a, in a, in a um, destructive uh, destination. I will never take you to a destructive destination. I'm just telling you this for yourself. You know, don't waste your time being MGTOW if you're not going to accept the fate that's all I'm saying you know if you have to do uh, today you should have a different ideology <clears throat> ideology than yesterday you shouldn't be listening to the same music you shouldn't be watching the same programs on television that you did last week I understand everybody's uh, rate of change is different. Some, they change slow. Some change rapidly. 
for me, I'm a, I'm a rapid changer. I don't do the same things I did last month. I wasn't doing the same things I did last week. You understand? And like I said in my last video, um, I'm done listening to rap music. You know, uh, I believe a subscriber told me to uh, told me to check out Buckethead or whatever his name is. I'm gonna check that out. I've been listening to a bunch of instrumentals. You know, uh, getting myself pumped up, man. And just really, when you think about it, um, in order to really accept the truth, you can't you can't do what you did yesterday because you'll find yourself being optimistic. You understand? You ever find you ever you'll trick yourself into believing in something that's not actually there. You know, so uh it's hard. It's hard. But you really have to look at yourself, um, and be honest with yourself. Like I said in my last video, we are all damaged. All of us and I'm damaged. But the, the the difference is, do you recognize that you're damaged? Do you know that you're damaged? I know that I'm damaged. See, that's that's the step towards change. If you realize that you, uh, if you can accept the fact that you have a problem, then you're already fixing your problem. You know, a lot of people are too egotistical to even say that they're fucked up in the head. They don't realize that they've been fed all of this um, nonsense. You know, so just accept it. Society is not for you so you're not gonna have a lot of friends this is my thing if you have a lot of friends you got a lot of followers on Instagram uh, you go into clubs you're not really MGTOW you might as well go ahead and leave cuz MGTOW is not again if you have a mainstream or a perverse mindset or you know in other words a degenerate mindset then you're not really MGTOW and you're probably a blue pillar. Because a lot of people, they want to give themselves the stigma of being, you know, red pill, you know, going your own way. But they don't really, they really don't assess their behavior. They don't give an honest assessment of what they really do in life. You understand? They don't realize that they're doing the same thing as everybody else. So that's what you have to do. You have to give an honest assessment of yourself. You got to look in look in the mirror and be like am i doing simp shit or am i actually going my own way because you have to fix those things and if you're not willing to get off of Insta like for me i deleted my instagram i don't need that what do i need it for what do i need it for validation what vines corny ass vines i don't need that shit you understand you can have a facebook but you don't need no friends use it for business purposes that's what i do but um social media get off of that shit youtube i'm only using this shit to make videos and then other MGTOW content that's it but other than that i'm not heavily relying on technology like that anymore you understand i stay out of the mainstream light um i'm doing me living my life and that's how you guys need to uh that's the ideology that you guys need to have that's the lifestyle that you need to have like i said you got 1500 followers on instagram you're a popular individual you probably got a mainstream mindset. You need to check yourself. You ain't no damn MGTOW. MGTOW is an esoteric lifestyle. You understand? There is no popularity contest over here. We doing this shit because we want to. This is because we see the reality in the world. We ain't doing this for attention. You understand all that bullshit with the feminist movement, all that Me Too bullshit. This ain't no male Me Too bullshit. This is for real. This is life. And some of y'all playing around like it's a joke, but it's not. You know, and I gotta say, some of y'all need to get the fuck off this channel. You know, um, putting dumbass comments and, you know, shit like that. We don't need none of that. All that, all that is a distraction. But I also realize to all of you guys listening the more you start to go your own way the more you start to trend upward and continue to go against the grain you're going to have people that try to bring you down you're going to have people that try to shame you for doing what you're doing so actually they're helping you out they're bringing attention to you they actually like you remember that people who hate you they like you but they won't ever admit that they admire you so 
that's something that I have to take into account and I can't get pissed off about. But um, yeah, man, um, you don't need friends. You don't need none of that shit. You just accept your fate. You're going to be alone. You're going to die alone. And guess what? You can You can be just as productive being alone. You understand? Read books, man. Understand things that you never even took the time to even think about. And see, we 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 take alone uh, alone time for granted. You know, we're too busy working, going to school, or hanging out with people. We don't take time to actually do research and actually educate yourself. Education is not getting a degree. Education is investigating the truth, teaching yourself, informing yourself. You know, a lot of people like to say, oh, he's ignorant because what I'm saying is offensive. That's why they say I'm ignorant, right? No, I'm saying the truth. See, you're still ignorant if you have a college degree because you're not really informing yourself of the truth. I was doing research over the weekend and um, I questioned myself. Did the first guy, the guy that invented college, did he even go to college? College is a scam. You understand? And we know that. So I don't want to hear this crap about, oh, I got a degree, I'm intelligent. No, that doesn't that doesn't necessarily mean you're intelligent. But um, um, that's enough, man. I just wanted to uh, make this video and just let you guys know that you guys got to accept your fate. Don't try to go after women. Stay out of the club. You know, if a chick want to give you, you know, give you some, I mean, you can do that. But stop approaching women. Uh, just sit in your house, go to the woods, go to the nature trail, go to the gym alone, or you know what I'm saying? Just do you by yourself. Peace. Renegade number one out.